These are the remains of Belmont Paper Mills, or later Springside Mill, situated in the Longworth Clough beside Belmont, north of Bolton. There's been a few urbex explores published online in the last few years, with decent photos from within some of the buildings. I was filming elsewhere but had to pass over the site, so I had a quick look around. There is a booklet by Helen Hayes from 1997 that outlines the history of the site. Eagley Brook, a Lancashire stream, which I think is a Turton Local History Society publication, but you can get a modern copy on Amazon these days. It looks like most of the online write-ups are based on, or copy Hayes verbatim. John Livesey first established the mill in Belmont after parting ways with his business partner. At that time, paper was made from recycled textiles and rags, not wood pulp, which came into use much later. Unfortunately, Livesey's business didn't last and the mill shut down in 1839. William Spencer from the nearby Belmont Bleach Works bought the mill next, bringing in his wife's cousin, Charles Turner. The mill stayed in the Spencer family until 1972 and went through several ownership changes afterwards, including being part of Courtaulds until it ceased operations. In the last decade, there have been plans for several cleanups at the site to remove asbestos and clear out paper waste. Some of these roofs look like asbestos to my unskilled eye. These efforts are part of a plan to redevelop the site into a housing estate, still ongoing as far as I can tell. The mill was damaged by lightning in 1854, suffered a serious fire in 1860, and in 1986 was accused of polluting Eagley Brook with dye, though the environmental impact was minor. Another big fire in 1994 destroyed a warehouse but was contained by firefighters from Bolton and Bury. I remember coming down the lane that leads to the factory from the end of Scout Road once as a kid, just to see where it went and passing by the factory and through woodland beside streams. But looking at the OS map today, I don't think I can have stuck to the public footpaths. Although I pass by frequently on the road above the valley and have walked the Longworth Clough Nature Reserve, but I've never been back through the factory itself or around the streams at the bottom of the Three Nooks Shore Clough, which is perhaps for the best if it's mostly private land. 